In this screencast, I'll show you how to calculate the enthalpy and entropy for a non-associating system using PCSAFT. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how you could use the formula for numerical differentiation to get the partial derivative of the Helmholtz free energy with respect to packing fraction, and then we could calculate the compressibility factor. So in the case of enthalpy and entropy, what we need to do is follow the same procedure, but to get the partial derivative with respect to temperature. So the formula again is shown here for the numerical differentiation taken from reference three. And we've got this table here where we've got the value for the temperature take away two lots of this H value take away one lot, add one lot, and add two lots of H. And H has been determined by multiplying the temperature that we've got by this increment, this, this delta value of 10 to the minus 4. And then what we do is we calculate the reduced residual Helmholtz free energy using PCSAFT A, custom function, at these different temperatures. So we calculate it using all of the parameters that are shown here, apart from for the temperature. We use the temperature in this table. So now we've got the value of the reduced residual Helmholtz free energy at these different temperatures. We can then use this equation shown here. And if we implement that, we get the partial derivative of the Helmholtz free energy with respect to temperature at a fixed uh, number density and fixed composition. We, could, we also need the value of A res, so that's calculated using the PC SAFT A user defined function, and also we need the compressibility factor. So once we have these values, then we can implement these equations from reference one. So we've got equation A46, A48, and A50. So these are what we're going to use here. So we combine these values. So this one to start with is shown here. So we've got minus B6, which is the temperature, times M23, which is the partial derivative of the Helmholtz free energy with respect to T, the value here. And then we add on Z minus one. Now for the entropy, we have this equation. So same idea, we use the parameters that we calculated and then we can get that value. And then for the Gibbs free energy, we have this equation. And again, we implement the value, implement the values and the formula here, and we can calculate that one. Now again, I'll add a link to this spreadsheet in the video description so you can take a look for yourself in more detail. But in summary, that's been a short screencast to show you how to calculate the enthalpy and entropy for a non-associating system using PCSAF.